Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our HSK three lesson three grammar lesson. So today、uh, we're gonna talk about some grammar points in this lesson. So first part, first point is a comparison between、uh, 还是 and 或者 So if we look at the trans,、uh, explanation here, both 还是 and 或者 are used to connect choices. 还是 is used in Interrogative sentences and 或者 in in de declarative sentences. Sorry, <laughs> it's quite difficult words for me.、Um, yeah, it, it sounds quite.、Uh, it's not very clear to me, so I put my own explanation here. So 还是 is used in the question.、Uh, so 还是 is actually a question word if you use this in the question or in the negative sentence.、Uh, so if you say I don't know something or something. I I don't like this or that. So we will use 还是 So if you use in the positive sentence or you just always say statement,、uh, we use 或者 So I don't put too much explanation here. Just yeah, it just uses the statement or you just want to say.、Uh, if it's not question, if it's not something、uh, negative sentence. So let's have a look at the example here. So this is my example,、uh, very similar to our texts. So 你要喝茶还是咖啡？呃、uh, ，You want to drink tea or coffee? So clearly it's a question. So 还是 is a question word. Yeah, if you don't know 还是 is a question word, you feel this sentence a bit tricky. Like which one is question word? Why is this a sentence? Actually, 还是 is a question word here. So you want to drink tea or coffee?、Uh, so this is a question, and if we say if we use 不 ah、uh, in the sentence, so it's negative. So we say 我不知道这是你的还是他的。我不知道 I don't know. So this is a tricky thing. If you use 我知道 I know, then you say. Uh, you say or here you can't use 还是 because it's a statement. It's it's positive. So if it's negative, you you will have to use 还是 So 我不知道 I don't know. 这是你的 This is yours. 还是他的 Or his or hers. Uh, this character is his. So or his. Ah,、uh, 我不知道这是你的还是他的 So here 还是 Is not a question word, so it's quite tricky. You need to figure out if it's question word.、Uh, but if you see, oh, 我不知道 or or you can see this 不 or 没有 ah,、uh, then probably it's not a question. Uh, next one, 或者 basically just a statement, and basically 或者 is kind of a words give you some. Choice. You can do this or that. It's your choice. So, 你去北京啊、uh, ，you go to Beijing. 可以坐火车或者坐飞机啊。Uh, you can take train or take、uh, airplane. Ah,、uh, 飞机 air airplane. So it means you have both choice. Both choices. You can either go、uh, by train or by plane. Ah,、uh, to go to Beijing. So this is statement. It gives choice. So it is 或者 So this is difference between 还是 and 或者 If we go back to our grammar point, so、uh, if you want to read this part, it's fine, and、uh, we can go straight to the sentences. Ah,、uh, 你要喝咖啡还是喝茶 Exactly same as our sentence. Ah,、uh, so I won't talk about this again. 明天是晴天。还是阴天啊。So tomorrow is sunny day or a、uh, cloudy day. 阴天 means overcast, uh, or cloudy, cloudy day. So it's a question to ask tomorrow's weather. 今天晚上吃米饭或者面条都可以啊。今天晚上 today evening. So in Chinese we say today evening. We don't say this evening. 吃米饭 eat rice 或者面条 or noodles 都可以 both okay 啊、uh, all okay. So, uh, we always say 都可以 
那 maybe people ask you a choice. 啊、uh, ，你要喝茶还是咖啡 ？You can say 都可以啊、uh, ，both OK， 都可以。Yeah, we use this a lot. So this is a statement. Give the choice to other people. So it's not question, and we don't have、uh, 不 here. Don't have negative words here. So we don't need to use. Uh, 还是 last one. 天冷了或者工作累了的时候。喝杯热茶很舒服啊、uh, ！天冷了 ，weather get cold， 哦，工作累了的时候，哦 ，the work， 呃、uh, ，make me tired or is tiring 的时候 ，when so when these things happen， 喝杯热茶，我、uh, 喝一杯热茶 ，drink a cup of hot tea， 很舒服 ，very comfortable。And here, I want to talk a little bit about this l here, because we when we say l, it means past tense, but it, it's not exactly same as in English. So, uh, 天冷了 uh, means the weather got cold. So, it if we just say 天冷 means it it it, it it's cold. It, it doesn't to show the change. So 天冷了 means it gets cold. 或者工作累了，呃、uh, ，all the work， 累 ，tired， 啊、uh, ，you can say it's tiring or make me tired 的时候 ，so 的时候 means when， so， 呃、uh, ，when we talk about when， it, it's kind of like you want to describe when you need to drink a cup of hot tea， means when the weather already got cold， it's not about the weather is always cold or the weather at the process of Getting cold、It、means it's already got cold, so we use past tense. But it does it kind of to 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 describe it's、uh, it already got cold. So when the weather got cold, or when the you know the job make me feel very tired. So if you just say 累，我很累 means I'm tired. It sounds like I always I'm tired, but you know. Uh, 我很 if it's 我累了 I'm already tired. So if it's it shows it already happened. So when you say 的时候 when, so you need to talk about when all these things already happened. Then I feel I need to drink a cup cup of hot tea. Or if you just at the process of the weather getting cold, maybe you don't feel、uh, the cold at the beginning. So so it's kind of in this situation we need to use the past tense. Uh, to show that I don't know if we understand, but it is a bit tricky to use the uh, and uh, we have kind of different idea about when we use past tense in Chinese. Okay,、uh, here four sentences with inter、uh, interrogative clause.、Uh, The hash can be using. I, I'm not sure it's the case, but let's have a look. Uh, Zhou 太太四十岁还是五十岁？我们不知道。Well, for me, it's because we use 不知道 It shows its negation, so we don't know. So if we say we don't know, probably we use 还是 here. We can't use 或者 So, so if we put move the first、uh, second part of sentence to the top、uh, to the beginning, it's also fine. So we don't know. Joe 太太 Mrs. Joe's forty years old or fifty years old. It's also fine. So I,、uh, it's my understanding. Okay. So here we also have a like negation. So 没啊、uh, here is not 不 is 没啊小丽还没想好啊、uh, This is a phrase we talked about earlier. 周末去爬山还是去看电影？小丽。Uh, the name, 还没 uh, still haven't 想好 and 想 means think, 好 means like you complete it, you know, complete that thing. So haven't you can't translate as haven't think about it. You know, it sounds like you haven't thought about. It. it sounds like you never try to think. If you say 想 means I started to think about it, 好 means I complete it. So I think best translation we say haven't figured out, haven't made up her mind. So, 还没想好 haven't made up her mind yet. Uh, 周末 weekend 去爬山 go to climb mountain. 
还是去看电影 or go to watch film. Yeah, so she hasn't made up her mind or hasn't figured out、uh, what to do. So because this is negation here, may so we have to use a 还是 here. Okay. Uh, here can we see we use 不 again? So I don't know why in our examples we move this part to the end of sentence. Actually, we can move this part at the beginning sentence. Let's look at this part first. 我不记得了 So, 我不记得 means I don't remember.、Uh, why do we need to learn here?、Uh, it's kind of also <laughs> kind of、um, kind of like a little bit. It's kind of to show a bit like past tense. 我不记得 means I don't remember means before I. I I did remember, but now I don't remember. So it's kind of like I I already don't remember. Uh, so 我不记得了 I don't remember. 他的生日是十月还是十一月 So his birthday is 十月 Tenth month is I think is October. 还是十一月 Or uh eleventh month November. So I don't remember his birthday is、uh, October or November. Okay, the last one. 我不知道。嗯、uh, ，If we see 我不知道 ，you probably know. We need to use 还是。啊 ，I don't know. 这个人是男的还是女的 ？So I don't know. 这个人 ，this person， 是男的。呃、uh, ，sometimes we say。We sometimes don't just say 是男 or we we sometimes to use the after 男 to say it's a male or female 是男的还是女的 or female 啊、uh, is male or female 啊、uh, 是男的还是女的 so、uh, <laughs> it's quite interesting sentence but because we use 我不知道 so we have to use 还是 here so all these are. Great examples. So, if we have time, you can have a look at this、uh, practice, and you can try to、uh, feel to write the, your words in that to see if you understand the difference between、uh, 或者 and 还是 Okay. So next part is it. This is quite interesting. Um. Uh. Grammar point.、Uh, I haven't thought too much about here, but we do say this. It's a little bit strange, even for Chinese. But、uh, so the structure, location, word, verb, j, and uh, uh, MP. Not sure what MP here.、Uh, is it noun or noun phrase? I guess that's it. Pronunciation.、Uh, that's the explanation. So、uh, I think the. Key point is j here. So, uh, j means like you continue to do that. It's 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 kind of like to 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 talk about sounds like it's something already happened, and、uh, and this thing will keep continue to happen. You won't stop. So it's not actually about the sentence. It's just to show it will continue. So I I won't think it's past tense, present tense, or future tense. It some maybe covers all, but it means it will it will just always happen like that. So in this structure, we can use 放 which means put, 写呃、uh, write, 做 sit, 住呃、uh, live. So we can use some vocabulary. Uh, so let's look at the. Uh, so it's very good. We have this kind of table to show the structure.、Uh, so location word, 桌子上 on table, 放着 put.、Uh, so 放 means put. I don't know who puts there, but somebody already put that something there, and sounds like it's it will just because somebody already put there and it doesn't move. So it, We put a j after the verb fun, so it, it will continue. 一杯咖啡 ah,、uh, one cup of coffee. So on the table, put 
a cup of coffee. So it's absolutely strange in English. We translate this way. We probably just translate there is a cup of coffee on the table. So if we think that way, if we say that, you don't know when people put that cup of coffee on the table. It's just there. So it's and if it doesn't sound like doesn't sound like somebody will take away. You know, it's there. So that's why we describe zhe. Next one, 我家楼上 Uh, so 我家 my home, 楼上楼 building, 上 on so 楼上 actually the word means upstairs. So my home upstairs. So probably they live in the flat. So upstairs of my house, 住着 live, and these people always live there. 一个老师 a teacher. So. Uh, in English, we probably say a teacher lives upstairs on my house. I don't know if we can say that or the floor. Like if I live in the second floor, someone lives in third floor. So we say 楼上 We can use that for 楼上 uh, upstairs. 上面那 on top. Uh, sometimes we can just use the this preposition. We just uh, probably in English we say on top of something. But we just say on on top. 写着 write so write something on that on something. 三百二十元啊 so it writes three hundred twenty quite as twenty yuan Chinese currency on on something. I don't know. We just say 上面 on on it. 啊，桌子上 Oh, this is same as the first sentence. 桌子上 on table 放着 put 很多饮料。Uh, many drinks, uh, many drinks.、Uh, okay, so this is、uh, the first part.、Uh, I personally, I think this we do say that, but I think if you ask a, a native Chinese person, do you really say that a lot? I think it's a little bit strange. I think for me.、Uh, We probably, I for me, if I say, we just say, 桌子上有一杯咖啡 on table has a cup of coffee. I probably say that.、Uh, I don't need to say 放着 because it's kind of 放 is a verb. So if you don't talk about somebody put something there, I probably won't use 放着 Uh, uh, 住着 yeah, possibly second we will say that the teacher live upstairs. It's Possible, 写着，嗯、uh, ，Yeah, you can say 写着，嗯、uh, ，I probably just say 上面的价格，呃，价格 means price、uh,。上面的价格是 ，the the price on that is， 啊，三百二十元，嗯、uh, ，So it just just different way. I think this is good. We know this. 呃、uh, ，The second part, I personally feel it's actually Uh, to be honest, I don't say that way.、Uh, it's quite simple. They just put a may before the verb, but I do feel it's very strange to say this way. So, 桌子上没放着咖啡 If there's no coffee on the table, why do we need to use the 放 to put? I didn't put the coffee on. I would just say 桌子上没有咖啡 <laughs> On the table, there's no there has no coffee. Uh, 我家楼上没住着老师。And、um, on upstairs on my home, didn't live. Uh, like no teacher lived there. This sentence is a bit tricky. So it means, does it mean nobody live upstairs or somebody live upstairs who's but that person is not a teacher? Uh, I don't know. So. Uh, you can say 我的家楼上住着一个老师 but if we say nobody live upstairs, we say 我家楼上没有人住啊、uh, We can say that 没有人住 or、oh, just say 我家楼上没有人 You can say that. Uh, so I feel this is very strange. 上面没写着多少钱 Ah,、uh, you can say that. I will say 上面没有价格啊、uh, I will say that. So on. 
top doesn't have price. Uh, 桌子上没放。Yeah, this is same. So I probably just say 桌子上没有饮料。So, uh, as a like teaching any language, I think probably many teachers feel same. So we we teach some students some grammar point, but actually not sure it's very useful.、Um, I think the first part is quite common. We do say that because if you you have something on on table, on something, then you can use the verb like put there, write there, live there. But if nothing's there, why do you need to use the verb? You just say there's no coffee there. But this is my personal opinion,、uh, and、uh, China is a very big country. Maybe some part of China people do say this way. Okay.、Um, last one. Hui,、uh, indicating possibility. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know if we say indicate. I, I would just say Hui has two meanings. One is、uh, means you have skill. We say 我会打篮球 I can play basketball. 我会踢足球 I can play football. 我会游泳 I can swim. So it's a skill. Means you need to learn that. You need to practice. Then you get that skill. And second one to、uh, you can say indicating possibility. Just it's kind of like it, it, the translation means will. But、uh, 会 uh, we we have different words to be translated as will. So 会 does mean it's your opinion. So you say 会 something. So maybe it's right to translate as. Indicating possibility, so you can't say it's definitely will happen. It's just your opinion. So if we look at the the sentence here, 你穿的那么少会感冒的 So 你穿 you wear 的 the is kind of words to connect a verb and adjective or just a phrase then to which this part is will to modify the verb. So you wear so. 少 little, so you don't wear many clothes. So, ah,、uh, 你穿的那么少，那么 means so. So you wear so, um,、uh, few clothes. 会感冒的 will, ah,、uh, 感冒 get cold, ah,、uh, 会感冒的，啊、uh, ，you will get cold. 别担心，别 means don't. 嗯，担心。Worry, so 别担心 very useful words. Word, don't worry. 我会照顾好自己。我会 I will 照顾，呃、uh, ，look after 好 well 呃、uh, good 自己 self. So I will look after myself well. So in Chinese we say I will look after good self. Ah,、uh, means look after myself very well. 你不给他打电话吗？啊，呃 ，we can put a question mark here, but、uh, it's part of whole sentence. So I, personally, I will probably just put a question mark here. 呃、uh, ，你不给他 ，so don't you 给呃、uh, to here be translated as to. So you don't to him make phone call. So don't you call him?、Uh, but in Chinese, you don't. To him, make phone call. Ma question word. He will be unhappy. Uh, he will be unhappy. Uh, not happy. He will get unhappy. Drinking a cup of hot tea will be very comfortable. So, a cup of hot tea will be very comfortable.、Uh, so here we we look at these sentences about he. Um. I don't think we need to make it very complicated. We just need to translate "hui" as "will."、Uh, it will be fine, and it, it's just about people's opinion. People do say like it will happen, something will happen. So,、uh, and、uh, here we have a little bit complicated is "de" here. So now I don't want to talk too much about "de". "De" here, "de" like to talk about the kind of to suggest situation. So it doesn't actually have meaning here.、Uh, It doesn't actually. So, 会感冒的，会感冒啊。Uh, we'll get cold. 会不高兴的啊。Uh, if we don't have the here, 
uh, it's a bit more like spoken way but don't worry about that it doesn't have meaning here okay this is Hui and uh, yeah so this is another part for complete sentences uh, if we can practice complete sentences uh, here we have some phrases with our uh, new vocabulary so bujida so the key word here is jida remember bujida don't remember jida dai qian ah remember to take money ni hai jida wo ma very useful hai still you still remember me ah ni hai jida wo ma wo jida ni yi jing you liang tiao zhe yang de ku zi le ah this is sentence we learned i remember you already have two pair uh, this kind of trousers. Xinxian, mm. fresh. Hen Xinxian, very fresh. Bu Xinxian, not fresh. Xinxian de yu. Uh, here, de here. So the, but before, the part before de to modify the part after de. Xinxian de yu, fresh fish. Zhe xie shui guo zhen xinxian. Uh, these fruits, really fresh. Uh, zhen, re real or really, really fresh. Uh, 放, to put, 放在桌子上, uh, to put on table. Uh, we actually always use 放 and 在, that's probably more common rather than 这. So 放在桌子上, 放在外面, put it outside. 放在哪儿, put it where, so where do you want to put? 桌子上放着很多饮料, so on table, put a lot of drinks. 纸, only uh, this is very useful we always use a zhi, put a zhi before the verb zhi xue han yu, only learn chinese zhi hui shuo, only can say bu hui xie, uh, zhi hui shuo, bu hui xie, only can speak uh, can't write yeah many people learn chinese they can talk but they they don't know the characters zhi er zhi mai shu bu mai shui uh, Jar here, zhi mai shu, only sell books. Bu mai shui, don't sell water. Uh, sometimes we say water means drinks. Or maybe fizzy, uh, like fizzy drinks or uh, mineral water. Uh, so bu mai shui, don't, don't sell water. Jing tian wan shang, zhi chi shui guo, bu chi fan. So today evening, only eat fruit, not, not meal. Uh, don't eat meal. Uh, tiao measure word for long things so yi tiao yu a fish yi tiao ku zi a pair of trousers but we think trousers is one item so we use tiao yi tiao lu one road lu means road ni jue de zhe tiao ku zi zen me yang you think this pair of trousers how's that how are they <laughs> this is a pair <laughs> Uh, which we don't think it's a pair. <laughs> okay, uh, this part is quite similar to HSK exam, so we need to know the vocabulary, and uh, first of all, we need to know the meaning of this vocabulary, then we need to fill in the blanks here. So I will not talk about this part now. If you can finish this and send me the answers, then we can talk about that. So same this part. Uh, so yeah, describe the picture using newly learned language points. Yeah, we can try that. Uh, we can also talk about that. If we, I, I would think it's better if we you can finish this part, then we can talk about it. Uh, it's quite a lot to do, but you can try to think about what words we put there. Uh, answer questions according texts. Uh, yeah, I think we. I think we know all these questions, but how we answer that. Uh, this is part I like, the character, the words, how we use the words. So uh, some of you already learned a lot for Chinese characters. You probably already know each character has meaning and we put them together to make new words uh, have different meaning. So xing, new, uh, xian, taste, xing xian, fresh, niu nai, uh, milk, Xian nai means fresh, fresh milk. Uh, 
sounds like that kind of milk you you, you get home you you can't keep it you need to drink maybe in few days you need to finish drinking it. Lun, uh, cold, 饮料 drink, uh, 冷饮啊、uh, How do we translate 冷饮冷饮 is not actually a drink. Uh, well, maybe it is now. I'm not sure now. But when I was young, 冷饮 means things like ice cream, uh, ice lolly, all these things. So all these like like kids will. We'll have that. We we say Leng Ying. Leng Ying does not mean. I'm not sure if it means.、Uh, if you have milkshake, maybe you can call it Leng Ying.、Uh, it's kind of that, but it's not. It's not just like a, you buy a Coca Cola or something. Ah, 上边上前面啊，上边呃 on top 前面 in front of so 上面啊 I'm not sure this is right. 上 I would say 上边的上面 same, they just use different 面 or 边 so 上边上面 both mean on top of. Okay, so this is also a part you can try to try to answer questions, or you can ask、uh, your classmates and then see if you can have and you can have the group work if. Uh, you can find somebody speak Chinese help you to talk about things.、Uh, before we finish, we will talk about a common saying again. So every lesson when we finish, we、we'll、talk about common saying. So this time we have this saying called 茶好客常来。茶、uh, tea 好 good， 客 means 客人 ，that means guest， 常。Is from the word 常常 means often, 来 ah、uh, means come. So means if you have good tea,、uh, the guests will always come.、Uh, so good tea attracts frequenters.、Uh, <laughs> so it means if if you have if tea is good, guests will often come. Yeah, that's that's the right tr- translation. So 茶好客常来 ah.、Uh, if you can learn this, it's very Useful to learn the culture. Okay, this is our lesson now.、Uh, so hope you enjoy this 